Lawrence, you did it again. This, you bought Cholula, which was a little bit sleepier than I like, kind of like a private equity thing, and you've turned it on fire. Number two, tell us about what happens when McCormick gets a hold of a brand. Well, you know, Jim, uh, first of all, I, I, again, uh, thank you for having me on. And, and we did just report a terrific uh, quarter. A consumer demand for flavor is just so strong. And our acquisition of Cholula hot sauce, uh, and, and we also bought uh, uh, Phil in the Flavors last year, really did make fantastic additions to our uh, portfolio. You know, with uh, Cholula, we have expanded distribution. We've gotten it shelved better. Um, you know, we have uh, propelled uh, Cholula's growth. It was already a strong brand, uh, but we have propelled it to the number two position in the hot sauce category in the U.S., you know, uh, Cholula and Frank's are like uh, brother and sister uh, in the in the hot sauce category now. Uh, Frank's number one, Cholula number two. And I don't want to leave out restaurants. We have added thousands of uh, of restaurants, uh, uh, front of house uh, usage and back of house. And, uh, and and I guess I'll tell you one more uh, thing about Cholula is that uh, we added over a million households uh, using Cholula uh, in the last year. So really, really great progress on that brand. You know, one of the things that uh, people had told me was, look, when we get the reopening, uh, it's not it's, what you're going to have is people are going to go back. They're not going to be cooking. Uh, they'll go back to going to restaurants. And I always said, well, listen, they'll get, uh, McCorm will get them to restaurants, they'll get them at home. But what I am surprised about is the robust nature of people cooking at home, even after they're allowed to go out. Something's really going on here, Lawrence. It's very different from the way it's been in a long time. You know, it's been too, too much has been attributed to the pandemic. There has been a long-term trend towards cooking at home, uh, cooking from scratch at home, uh, cooking more healthily at home, really driven by younger consumers. And Jim, I know you've got uh, young members of your family. Um, you know, they all, you, you know, I'm sure you see it as an anecdote. They all take pictures of everything that they cook and pass it around. I mean, cooking has been uh, in fashion uh, among young consumers for a long time, and it's really a long-term trend that we see globally. The well, pandemic accelerated it, but, but, but it was a trend already before the pandemic. It's been a trend through the pandemic, and we believe it's continuing for the long term. So Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.